Mike? Hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> Don't know what that was. But anyways, we're joined by Joe at the Beer Patrol. I think he's talking to me. I think he's talking to me. <laughs> by Hi Joe guys. at the Beer Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> we have a brewery beer. So, so, this is, so this is a very special review because we're going to do a 2022 brewery white chocolate that Mike got with his Preservation Society uh, subscription. This beer is a bourbon barrel-aged wheat wine with cacao nibs and vanilla beans, 14.8%. And now we're not only gonna do one bottle of this, after we drink this, we're gonna do a 2019 vintage over on Joe's channel. And then after that, we're gonna do another video comparing them all. You know what this is called? In general, ill-advised. <laughs> That's what this is called. <laughs> oh, the thing didn't pull the whole, the whole way. Oh, well. I think you're good. No cork? I don't know yet. There we go. Nope. No cork. Yeah. Winner, winner. Not chicken dinner for us. Oh, that's... I know it's a wheat wine, but I still just imagine something a little... It kind of reminds me of like a blonde stout. Oh, before you got it. How much? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Say when. Anybody else of uh, Gabber want it? Mike's like, I want to die tonight. He's like, he's like, all of it. Stop, 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 stop. I want to feel, want to feel alive. I want, I want people to share. So, so wheat wines, you know, very akin to barley wines. It's kind of if you just told me this is a barley wine, I would be like, yes, it uh, is. I mean, this is this is like between copper and orange. Yeah, yeah. it's crystal clear too. Yeah, some alcohol legs, and by alcohol legs, I mean mostly sheets. Yep, because you know it's a little bit pale. You know, you know like the other guys. So. Uh, and the the head is eggshell. Yeah, and yours has pretty like better carbonation than our glass. I don't know if it, it, it's a Maybe plastic it's... one, but it's definitely promoting the carbonation as nucleation. Ours. Yeah, it doesn't have the nucleation. <laughs> Does it have a nucleation button on those? I don't oh, know. No. That'd be oh, hilarious no. if they did. <laughs> nose. Your nose? Yep. yep. Do it. Oh, that's a big boy. That's gonna warm my tummy. Oh, it's, it's already warming that my entire body. That smells like ethanol. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's big. It smells like uh, ethanol, but this vanilla. Oh, white definitely. Chocolate. I'm, yeah, that's I'm, all I'm getting honey mostly. Honey, from yeah. honey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting white chocolate for sure. Yeah, yeah dude, it, notes it's... of coconut and honey. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. I can see coconut too. No, I, I think I think you're right. Like I'm I'm getting I'm not like straight on white chocolate, but like I, I'm perceiving it. I know that's what they're going for, but like as you look for it, yeah, I definitely <laughs> I can get it. I think Keith's telling us to speed it up. You want to get a taste? <laughs> speed it up. Why? Keith, I'd say the, the combination of the coconut and honey, it kind of smells like actual like honeycomb. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. The honey's pronounced for me, but. Yeah. You guys thinking? Want to get into it? Yeah, dude, the, the alcohol. Let's is big, do it. The alcohol's real. Cheers. Big. Cheers. Thanks for sharing, boys. Oh, <laughs> that's fucking delicious to me. It is, it's but that was so boozy. it's so approachable, man. In my opinion. But yeah, dude, I didn't. Like, it was boozy. See, I'm not getting as much booze. I mean, I'm me getting. Either. I know it's boozy, but like, it's not like. We're better on the second sip. I don't know. That, 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 I think that first one just like. I'm the one in the fucking yeah. chair, okay? Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's mm. it's warming, but like, for what is it, 14.3? 14.8. 14.8? Yeah. The, it I mean, doesn't drink like 15%, though. Um, it, it drinks big, but it doesn't have that that real hard ethanol kick that you'd get out of a 15% beer. It's not harsh. Yeah. It, it's noticeable, but it's not like, I yeah. mean, I had that, so I had a Fox Farm double barley wine that, that Stephen uh, asked us all, and it was 15 and a half, dude. I, it was like I was breathing fire out like I'm Godzilla. Like, for, like, every sip. Like, that's not what this is. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing, you are getting, like, the perceived ethanol. It is the part of a flavor component, but it's not harsh on the um, the palate or on the esophagus. No, and I like what you said about the honeycomb. I, I feel like the honey and the coconut is kind of, like, playing well together, but I am getting notes of white chocolate like you're supposed to. Oh, yeah. It's not overbearing. It's not like you're going to drink this, like, white chocolate, but, like, as you look for it, yeah, I get a little bit of white chocolate here. I get that honey. You get that coconut. You get the booze. You get a little caramel. Do you get apple? I get a little, little apples, like a red apple skin. Yeah, apple yeah. skin. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got a little bit of apricot too, actually. Mm -hmm. A little jamminess, like an yeah. apricot, oh, yeah. like or yeah. like dried apricots, even. Just, yeah. just, it's, it's fucking good. Like I don't really know good. what I'm supposed to say. It's good. Yeah. It's really, it's really, um, like I said, approachable. Like you can, yes. like the first sip for me obviously was was like, jarring. My, I think my face said that, but like. After after drinking it more, it is warming in my stomach. But yeah, it's it's in the chest and the stomach. Is, but you know. but I would also say like, is it sweet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is That's, it like cloying to the point where like close. I I could like I shouldn't ever anymore drink more than what's in my glass. But I could share with another person easily drink twelve ounces of that and feel good about it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Um. 
and, holiday and that's the beauty about these these old school pastry esque beers. I think they they kind of skirt the lines of okay, it's pastry, but not really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you get the flavors of a white chocolate without that cloying sweetness that so many have nowadays. Right. And I think that is what I appreciate about beers like this the most. Yeah. And it's good. Not much more to say. It's fucking good. That's delicious. I'm it's glad delicious. you guys shared it with me. I do appreciate it. Now I hope that in 2019 one doesn't suck. But we'll see. We're going to find out. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, has anyone had the 2022 version of, well, vintage of for the brewery's white chocolate? What do you think of it? Have you had it with, with some time on it? What's what's a good age? What's a bad age? Are we in for a, in for a bad time with the 2019 that I'm just staring down right now? Or we're going to my channel. Always a always yeah. bad time. 100%. So, so once this is posted, there'll probably be a link right about here-ish that goes to the view, the, the video that we're about to do. We'll probably post. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll coordinate the same yeah, thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, where can we find you? I guess click that video. Nah, you the fucking YouTube's where else? He'll be right there in this video link here. Over here. Uh, down here. This way. I'll put that it on way? his face. That's probably the best. <laughs> You'll get more views doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, you can find us at NerdSense.net. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Sean. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this, this is NerdSense. Nerd Sense. Sense. Oh, no. That was scary. Probably one of the better beers I've had this weekend, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Like, And it... it, it Drinks kind of classy. Doesn't drink like a yeah. like a. That's what I'm saying. Okay, picture this. It's a mature Vintage pastry style, style. Like a holiday party, everyone's like dressed up, and there's like a fireplace. And there's like lots of.